here. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to share this with you. About two months ago in mid-October, I had sclerotherapy on my leg veins. This is probably the third time I've had it done in the past two years. Sometimes the veins do come back, but it was a good two years before the veins came back, so I think that was just wonderful. So stick around if you'd like to see that. And before I get into this, I did want to show you the outfit and jewelry that I'm wearing today. The shirt is actually a turtleneck sweater from Ralph Lauren that I got from Thread Up, which is a wonderful consignment store online. It is huge and you can enter the brands that you like, the designers that you like, and things are very inexpensive there. And if you're brand new to Thread Up, I have a discount code below the video for 45% off your first purchase plus free shipping. And this is not sponsored by them, but I do have a discount code to share with you. So if you're not familiar with ThreadUp, you might go give it a look because I think it's absolutely a wonderful resource. Okay, let's get into this. And as I mentioned, in mid-October, I had sclerotherapy on my leg veins. And this is a perfect time of the year if you want to do scleral on your leg veins because it is not good to do it in the spring or summer because if you wear shorts and you get sun on your legs, that can cause hyperpigmentation over those scleroid areas. So the best time to deal with unsightly leg veins is in the winter when you're all covered up and your veins have plenty of time to heal. And I will say that I had the treatment done at Spa MD at Innovative Vein here in Wichita, Kansas, and I'll put their contact information below. The esthetician that I use there is Jennifer Brackeen, and she is fabulous. I absolutely love her. She's a registered nurse and a licensed esthetician. She does all manner of aesthetics procedures there. And varicose veins affect about 25% of us, especially as we get past the age of 50 or 60, we get into menopause. That seems to make our veins really show up, which is unfortunate. And having varicose veins can be genetic, or it can happen because you happen to stand a lot, or it can just happen with increased age, unfortunately. And varicose veins can be a pain issue. They can be painful, or they can just be a cosmetic issue. And in the case of my legs, mine were just little spider veins in various parts of my legs. And so it was just a cosmetic issue, very easy to solve with sclerotherapy. And there are two types of varicose veins that can be treated. The first is large bumpy veins that stick out of your legs. And it used to be that you had to have those stripped in a major operation, but now they can often use a foam sclerotherapy product, which is very, very safe, even on those bumpy veins. And the second type of veins are the type of varicose veins that I had, and they're small pink or purplish little spider veins. And mostly those types of veins are just an appearance problem as they were for me. And as I mentioned in the past, they usually had to go in and strip your veins in a pretty major operation. Now, however, they have heated lasers to get rid of those veins. And I've actually had my nose veins on my face treated with a heated laser, and that worked very well. But on my legs, Jennifer did foam sclerotherapy where they inject each vein with a small needle and it immediately turns the vein white. It's kind of interesting to see. Then over the next few days, it can get a little bit of a bruised look or those spots can show up as red over the next few days. And basically that foam material just destroys the veins from the inside out. Then over the next four to eight weeks, they disappear. And I will say they can come back. Mine came back after about two years, but you can keep having follow-up procedures to kind of keep those veins at bay, which is just wonderful. Now, in just a few moments, I'll be taking you into my session with Jennifer and showing you everything that happened there. But before I get into that, I did want to show you my before and after picture. And I just took a before and after picture of my left leg, I think it was, the back of my left leg. And there it is, as you can see before, I have quite a few veins on the back of my leg on the left-hand side. And then on the right side, and that picture was taken about six weeks after I had the sclerotherapy, as you can see, some of those veins are actually gone, while other veins are greatly reduced, which is just wonderful. Now let's go back to mid-October to my session with Jennifer. So I am doing sclerotherapy. The medication I use is called a sclera. It's a sclerosin or a vein irritant. It's my job to inject the medication in the vessel in hopes that it will kill the vessel lining then your body's job is to break down that dead vessel and absorb it. So you are going to experience lots of little injections today. And as a result, they will 
your legs will look and feel like you've had bug bites or bee stings. The redness, welting, and itchiness will last about three hours. And when that subsides, you may develop some bruising over the next couple days and the vessels will hopefully start to die. Um, dead vessels can be dark um, in the dying process and they can be lumpy and bumpy as well. So just be prepared for that. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. Now, I have to say that my procedure with Jennifer went textbook absolutely perfect. However, I am on blood thinners right now for a different medical condition. And so for the first few days after the sclero, each little incision point showed up as a red dot. She had said they could look like bug bites and mine definitely did. I was a little worried about that, but within a week, all those bug bites had kind of blended in. You couldn't even see them anymore. And within three to four weeks, my legs were almost totally healed. And I will say there was really no pain, maybe a little bit of discomfort as they put the needle in. Don't look if that bothers you. Now, in terms of the price for this procedure, it does vary all around the country. So do check with your esthetician at your local clinic, but here in Wichita, my aesthetics clinic charges $400 for the first session, and that includes the backs and fronts of both of your legs, all for $400, and then if you require a touch-up session in the future, the sessions are only $150, which is, I think, very, very reasonable. Now, one thing that I definitely thought about is how to reduce the varicose veins in the future and to keep them from coming back. And the first tip is to wear compression stockings if you're doing any work, if you're standing on your feet, if you're involved in a sports activity, compression stockings supposedly really do help you. And in terms of your diet, they say to eat more fruits and vegetables. Something about the antioxidants in the fruits and vegetables really help our veins remain healthy and help them remain flexible so they're not breaking and giving us those unsightly varicose veins. And another tip to keep those veins from coming back is to get good cardio exercise that involves your legs on a treadmill, an elliptical, something like that, that keeps the circulation in your leg veins going strong, which is really important. And if you're a weightlifter, which I lift weights, especially involving the deadlift, which is basically where you bend over and you pick up a large weight and then you're squatting down and you're standing up, you're squatting and you're standing, one thing they said that was important is to avoid varicose veins, really try to lighten up on your weight some. And I had gotten to where I was lifting quite heavy weights on the deadlift, and so I've backed off some. I just do a few more reps rather than have heavier weights, and hopefully that will help protect my veins going forward. Well, that was a look at my varicose vein treatment experience, and I'm pretty happy about that because in January, Alan and I will be going off to a beachy vacation I thought that would make my legs look a little bit better in shorts, which is just wonderful. And if you have had this treatment in the past and you have any comments you would like to share about it, about your particular results, or if you have any tips, I would really appreciate it if you would share that in the comment section, because that way we can help each other, which is always wonderful. Well, thanks for being here with me today, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.